Hi, welcome to Vegan A Go Go. This is a vegan cooking show. My name is Jess, and today we're making some um, Greek inspired green beans. And so this is gonna have um, some green beans. You can use fresh or frozen. I use frozen because it's more convenient for me. So I'm gonna put them in my nice warm pan. I'm also gonna add some diced tomatoes. These are just canned tomatoes. Have some tomato sauce. Got about a medium onion, a bay leaf, some parsley, some lemon juice. And some water you can use, veggie broth if you have it. I'm just going to add some water though. And some olive oil. And you can add as much olive oil as you want. Olive oil is pretty healthy oil. So you can um, add more of it if you'd like. I'm just going to add a little. And then you can always drizzle it with olive oil um, when you serve it if you want more. And this actually is a really good recipe because it's sort of a throw it all in a pot Put it off on a corner of the stove and let it cook for 45 minutes. And when it's done, you've got a really tasty um, side dish. And so it's really good for, you know, times when you're making a lot of food and you don't have time to really dote on something, you can um, just set this and forget it. Um, one of the other things I like to do is take this to potlucks because um, it's super easy. You can make it the night before and then heat it up the next day. And it's really, really tasty. Um, what I like to do sometimes, you can sneak in some, you can sneak in some extra flavorings if you want other seasonings. Um, sometimes I'll just do a dash or so of dill because I like the way it tastes um, with the tomatoes and green beans. So that's pretty much set. We're gonna let this simmer just for about 45 minutes, and then uh, it'll be all done. Okay, so we'll see you back then. So our green beans are just about finished up. Um, the onions are translucent, the green beans are cooked, and we've got a nice thick sauce. Um, tomatoes and tomato sauce, so it looks really good. It smells excellent. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy this recipe. If you choose to make it, it's very good. You can check out the recipe at veganagogo.com, and if you'd like to send us comments, you can do that at fans at veganagogo.com. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.